Hi guys, now I'm going to show you guys how to decompress your lumbar. This is one of the most important area for a human health, uh, lumbar, which is the base of our body. If your lumbar is decomp if your lumbar is compressed, you have a bad posture, upper body, and you will develop lower back pain. And if you have a compressed lumbar, most likely your hips are misaligned anyways. So everything starts from the uh, stability and the mobility of your lumbar area, which is the lower, lower part of your uh, spine. So what we try to do, take our last rib away from our hip, but all 303 degree all around. So there are different angles we're going to do. We're going to do from front, take the last rib away from the hip, hip bone, and then the side, take the hip bone away from the last rib, decompress, and then the right lower back, same thing, decompress, open up, and then exactly back, decompress, open up. So while doing that, we're not going to compress the nerves come from lumbar, and it's not going to affect our legs. It's going to decrease the hip and knee injuries, and then by opening up the lumbar, it's going to help us having a good long torso and good posture, because if this is short and tight, see, you can't even strain up your upper back, because this is locked up here you're locked up. Even you want, you can't catch a good posture. So to catch a good posture, you have to be really, really decompressed here on the lower part, which is this. So this is one of the most important thing in our system. So the first thing I'm going to do, start from front. So there is four different angles here. I'm going to stretch from front, front, front side, back side, and back, back. Four different angles same decompression drill. So first one, I'm going to be on the floor, straight, look at my feet. I like my feet like this, not like that. Definitely not like this. That's not good. Straight like that. I use my knuckles so I can get away from floor even more. It's going to be more stretch. I'm going to come up. Okay, here is very, very important one thing here. Most of people, they push their hip down to floor. So do not push your hip down to the floor. Let it go. Let the gravity pull your hip down. So don't push your hip down because it's going to activate your lower back muscles. It's going to only make you worse. So hip is relaxed. What you're going to do is you're pushing away your chest bone from the floor, ground. So push your chest bone away from the ground, but not your chin. Okay, that's another mistake people do. That's the overextension of your neck. So don't overextend your lower back, don't overextend your neck. Both of them are going to hurt you. So bring your chest bone away from the floor and exhale, inhale. With the exhale, you're going to push your glute back. Again, the big mistake people do, they push their armpit to the floor, which is a mistake. That's not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is shortening your psoas major by pushing your sacrum towards your heels. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing away from ground my shoulders, which is my sacrum to my heel, to my foot, which is like this. <sighs> Relax. So I'm not pushing my armpit to the floor. That's a big mistake. So let's do this on the action time. Front. <sighs> Up. Inhale. Push your chest bone away. <sighs> Exhale, unload, push your sacrum to your heel. Again, front, push it up, inhale, exhale. So that's only did the front part. Now I'm going to go to front side. Then I'm going to go to back side. Then I'm going to go to back back. So here is the technique. When you're in this angle, when you bend your hip 45 degree and drop your hip on the floor, you have to drop your hip on the floor, okay? It cannot be on the air. 45 degrees. Show me from the top angle right now, please. See, my hip is going to be about 45 degree bended. 45 degrees. So that means I'm stretching my front right side. So here is a couple very important thing here. Your legs are going to be like a paralyzed. You're not going to move them. Okay, so most important thing is bring your chest bone up. So while you're trying to stretch your front of your uh, lower abdominals, right side, don't get hunched back. Okay, that's a big mistake. 
You try not to put your uh, spine on a hunch position. Never. Chest bone straight. This is your bridge. Okay. So if you're too tight here, you won't be able to bring your hand here that much. So you may want to start a little bit from further if you're a little tight. And you're going to progress your way up slowly here. And eventually when you're really good, then you can put a step here, make it even higher. So here, bridge. And then at this moment, about 45 degrees, it stretches my front right side. What I need to do, body and mind connection. And put this hand here, push it down so it's going to inhabit the reverse side muscles. And the stretch is going to maximize. And stay here and feel that it's opening up. And then you're going to do the same thing from other side. Now I'll go to other side maybe. And I'm going to bend my hip 45 degrees. I have to put my hip bone on the floor. I need to fix my posture on my spine. Chest bone is up. Bridge my arm. Push this leg down. Inhabit the muscles from reverse side. And then last thing, mind and body connection. Relax, let it go. So it's going to open, decompress. Now I'm decompressing my front left side. So that's the second stage. So we did the front front. We did the front sides. Now I'm going to go to back side. So to do the back side, instead of bending from my hip 45 degree, I'm going to bend from my hip 90 degree. So I'm going to bend more, 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 almost 90 degrees. See? So now, am I good? No, absolutely not because I have, a bend, I have a hunch back. So I need to fix that because hunch back is already bad. So I'm going to bring my chest bone up, try to keep my spine as straight as possible. Okay, now because of I bend it 90 degree from my hip, the stretch is going to my right lower back. And then same thing again, bridge my arm, chest bone is straight. Try to keep your spine as straight as you can. Don't get hunched too much. And then I push your leg here. And if you have a rubber band or anything, hook your foot here or yoga, yoga belt. And if you pull it from here, that's going to actually maximize the stretch on the right lower back. So it's going to help you even more. But if you don't have a rubber band, you can always push your hand here. That's going to help a little bit too. So 90 degree, band from your hip, chest bone up, bridge your arm, push it. And again, mind, body connection, let it go. This is going to decompress your lower back, right lower back. Especially if you have lower back pain, that's going to help you a lot. I give this to every single client of mine. This is a must. Very important because lumbar is the center of the human body. If your lumbar is not healthy, nothing is going to be healthy. Your hips, your knees, they're going to suffer. Your shoulders, your posture, your mid-back, thoracic spine is not going to be good. And then if you do it from other side, 90 degree again, I'm going to bend my hip. 90 degree position, first positioning. Am I good? No, I'm going to straighten up my spine. Bridge, as big as chest possible, not your chin, chest. Push this down. And body and mind connection, and I'm feeling the stretch on my left lower back right now. Okay, so that made the third one. The fourth one is back back, exactly here, right next to your spine. So I want to stretch that one. So how am I going to do that? Same positioning here. Okay, so instead of 90 degree, I'm going to try to do a little bit more than 90, and I'm going to stand up almost turn there. So... This is the 90 degree, my lower right back, right? My right lower back. And then if I turn a little bit more, and if I stay like this, leg is like that. Stand tall. See, now I'm stretching right next to my spine, spine pretty much my straight back. And then, of course, if I use something elevated, something a terracore like that, or any kind of bosu ball or bench, it's going to make it even further one level further than stretch like this like that so i come from here turn drop it and then stay like this so it stretches right next to my spine on the back and if i do same thing from this side it's going to be same thing from that side so you can always use a Terracore or bosu ball or any kind of step to maximize those all that four angle which you can do like this If you're a little bit advanced level if you already progress now you can do like this see now 45 degree Up. Ooh, that's really really effective right now because I elevate my feet 
90 degree, my right lower back, all the way I turn, my back back right next to my spine. So by doing this, I'm hitting all 360 degree of my core and I'm decompressing my entire lumbar so those nerves, they're not gonna get compressed and affect my legs or it's gonna mess up my upper body posture. This is very, very important, almost the most important area. Lumbar decompression. You have to do this. Thank you.